Mark Andreessen, who needs no introduction at all, Silicon Valley legend, founder of Netscape, all kinds of stuff. So you're becoming a VC, Mark. That's right. And why? Why in the world are you doing this horrible thing? <laughs> We're actually very excited about it. Yeah. No, so explain what the Andreessen fun. Horowitz Fund is. Yeah, so Andreessen Horowitz is a new firm, uh, mm -hmm. a new venture capital firm. Uh, we are going to invest in technology startups. Mm -hmm. uh, we have raised $300 million right. from primarily institutional investors. Mm -hmm. Um, we are going to invest in um, anything basically in the computer industry. So anything software, we'll do internet, we'll do backend, we'll do networking, we'll, we'll do storage. Um, we uh, love investing in Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll do some deals outside the valley, but mostly in the mostly valley. Mostly here. You mostly you're here. a creature of the valley in a lot yeah. of ways. You like you came here and you never left. I, I, I will never I will never leave. You'll uh, never leave. Okay, excellent. Right. So what 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 are you looking at? What's important? Do you think right now? What are the big trends? Yeah. So it's just it's 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 unbelievable. Like right now, um, it, <laughs> I'll, I'll make a specific statement. Basically, everything we talked about in the 90s is actually happening right now. Mm -hmm. um, like, basically everything. And so, just the, the spread of the internet is still happening at an incredibly rapid pace. Um, we think there are all kinds of new businesses being built, all kinds of new consumer internet businesses being built that are going to be very interesting. Um, we think basically the whole um, computing stack is turning over. So, we think networking and storage and servers and databases are all changing right now in real time. Mm -hmm. um, so, we think a very large number of things are changing. We think people are not quite tracking the speed of change right now, and we are going to try to back. And you're doing some different things. You're doing some very different things than other entrepreneurs. You're, you're investing at all stages of investment. Yeah. So a couple of things we're doing. So one is we are um, uh, perfectly happy to invest basically between fifty thousand dollars and fifty million dollars um, in, in 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 a deal. Um, and so basically, as, from a stage standpoint, we'll do seed stage, we'll do venture stage, and we'll do late stage. Mm -hmm. And you're only investing in entrepreneurs, correct? You're you're more interested in founders. Yeah. Well, we love we love backing technical founders. Um, mm -hmm. We're looking for the technical founder, the programmer the engineer with a great idea um, and specifically we love the technical founder who wants to be a CEO and wants to learn how to be a CEO mm -hmm. uh, and we view our job basically as helping the technical founder basically build a company around the idea and um, yeah. it, meaning not professional CEOs I mean you yourself are a founder entrepreneur yeah. and technical person that's right as, as is my partner Ben Horowitz so mm -hmm. Um, we are generally, um, uh, conceptually, uh, we're not huge fans of the professional CEO concept. Mm -hmm. um, we like mm -hmm. when the entrepreneur can scale uh, and, and can be the CEO of the company, even at large size. And why is that? What, why do you, what is the, the theory behind that? If you look at the history of our industry, going all the way back to IBM and Hewlett Packard, and then more recently, you know, companies ranging from Microsoft to Intel to Oracle, and now to Facebook and to Twitter, um, the, and, and for that matter, Google, the most successful companies um, have either been run by their founders over a very long period of time, um, or, you know, in some cases, founder plus a very special CEO who mm -hmm. almost essentially acts as almost a virtual founder. And mm -hmm. I put, for example, Eric Schmidt in that category, mm -hmm. or Meg Whitman. Um, but generally, the founder is heavily involved or directly running the company, in many cases for 20 or 30 years. Mm -hmm. And those are the big successes. And the reason is because when, when, when it happens, like when it works, when there's a big success, usually there's a person um, who had, or a, t or a small team, that had the vision and the idea right. and the commitment they're and the passion. They're going to stick to it. Yeah. They kind of stick to it. Is. Now, is yeah. there anything diff else different you're going to be doing? You're hopefully not going to be wearing khakis, and well, you are wearing a <laughs> shirt here, but I like the vest look. But what, 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 do you, what are you doing that's going to be different than a VC? How do you, do you imagine, a lot of people feel that a VC industry is broken in a lot of ways. There's a lot of unsuccessful firms and a very small amount of successful ones. How do you look at the VC industry? Right. Well, so in general, the top VCs, um, the top VCs, the ones who work with the great entrepreneurs and help build the great companies are very successful. Um, there are a lot of venture firms that don't get into the top deals, either don't have access or, you know, don't see them or whatever. And, like, that's fine. And, I, you know, I wish everybody well. But, you know, we want to work with the best entrepreneurs. We want to help build the best companies. Um, we want to be very focused in terms of, as, as we said, as in terms of, of, of sector, we want to be very focused in terms of geography. Mm -hmm. um, we want to be very creative in terms of structure or stage. Um, we want to invest in fundamental technology change. Um, we basically, we, we essentially, my partner and I basically, we won't invest in a product we don't understand. So mm -hmm. we won't do clean tech or energy or uh -huh. electric cars or anything. And the reason is simply we don't understand those things. Right. But we really understand software. We really understand internet. We really understand backend systems. We really understand networking. And so we'll do all those things. And you're only so the, two the, two, the, the two of you. Just the two of you. Yes. And then we'll basically only two GPs. And, so and you're not going to be on board all the boards that you invest in? So at the seed stage, we generally won't go on the board. Um, so and that's about 50 or 60 investments in this first fund? We could do 50 or 60 or even more in the first fund. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, those could be deals ranging in size, you know, say $500,000 on average, give or take, um, you know, for sort of the initial stage of a company building its product for the first time. Um, but then in later stages, if we invest five or ten or twenty or fifty million dollars in a round, then you'll go up to fifty million dollars. We'll go up to fifty. You're a big better, Mr. Mark Andreessen. Oh, yeah, exactly. I got to tell you. Well, so, yeah. do you, do you, why are you? Do, I mean, you were an angel investor. You've been in Twitter. You've been in. Uh, you're on the board of Facebook. You're in tons of 
tons and tons of Silicon Valley companies. Why professionalize this now? Well, two reasons. One is because we really enjoy it. Um, mm -hmm. We like working with the best entrepreneurs. Um, we like helping to build companies. Um, and so we just it's just it's a lot of fun. It's very satisfying. Um, the other is um, having a big checkbook uh, matters uh, and, is, and is important and is very helpful. Uh, and so to be able to play an important role in the important companies, it, it just it helps a lot to show up and be able to write, whether it's Oh, dear. Mark Andreessen with a big checkbook. That's yes. a scary concept. Exactly. I have to tell you, I'm a little nervous right now. Exactly. So last thing, what's hyped right now? What's overhyped? What's underhyped? So in general, mm -hmm. um, I think that most of the things happening in the computer industry, broadly defined, including the mm -hmm. internet, generally are underhyped. Mm -hmm. um, I think in general there's more change happening with consumer internet companies. There's more change happening on the back end. I think that people appreciate it right now. And so we're going to focus you know, a lot in, 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 in those areas against, by the way, the opinions of some very smart people who right. I respect a lot. So, right. Now, but, lastly, the economy. You raised it in a very bad economy. How did you do that, besides magic? Yeah. So I would say, um, you know, with, with, with all appropriate humility, I think we may be the exception that proves the rule. Um, I th our investors told us that we were like a rare exception to generally their policy of not mm -hmm. backing new funds. Um, and in fact, a lot of existing venture funds that haven't done very well for 10 or 20 years are having trouble now raising new funds. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, that said, we're not that large of a fund relative to these big institutional pools of capital. So right. I think they found our story compelling. And, and you also, last, you can invest in public companies, too. You can do all, anything you want. So we much. have a lot of latitude uh, structurally. So mm -hmm. we can invest um, in um, public companies. Now, we're not going to be a hedge fund, and we're not going to invest in, like, Microsoft or, you know, you know Yahoo or funny. anything like that. Um, but there are cases where you get, especially smaller tech companies, that basically, for example, get marooned on the public market mm -hmm. um, and end up trading at a discount to their private market comparables. And so, like, for example, we would make those kinds of investments. We could also potentially participate in leverage buyouts. Um, we could also, uh, you know, we can also do converts. We can buy founder shares. Like, there's a whole bunch of stuff we can do. So like you that. feel like the economy's back, obviously. Well, no, I don't. <laughs> but it's a good so, time to invest, our, nonetheless. Uh, yeah, well, so our view is, is twofold. One is uh, technology keeps advancing. Our, our, from what we can tell, technology basically keeps advancing at a steady pace year after year, no matter what. Because um, there are lots of great entrepreneurs and, and engineers who are hard at work in any given year, no matter how bad things are. Investor enthusiasm whips around, you know, wildly from mm -hmm. euphoria to depression, but doesn't really affect the underlying rate of, of, of uh, technology advancement. So we basically view if you're going to be in this business, just keep investing all the way through. Two is, it is true, in a recession, in a difficult time, um, it actually... It, it is harder to build a company, mm -hmm. but the company that you build can often be more valuable coming yeah. out the other end, if only because there's less competition, right. which, is, which is good. Excellent. Mark, you're sounding like a VC. I like it. Sure. Thanks a lot. You bet.